So how much power? Uh, something like this. Well, this is 7 kilowatts of electric and 11 kilowatts of thermal. Okay. But now keep in mind, uh, Frank, as you said yesterday, this is a quarter size system. So the full size system is 40 by 40. So three more arrays uh, in unison with uh, equal number of, of uh, receivers as well. Uh, and so you have on the full size system 28 kilowatts of electric and 42 kilowatts of thermal for each 40 by 40 array. Basically, when we, when, we, when we added up, we basically say one megawatt for every two acres. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. So, so when we look at that solar field out there, I know they're, they're looking at 37 megawatts. I think they, the lab has basically allowed about 200 acres of property. 192, 192 acres, right? So, I mean, we could, uh, you know, on, on, on 50 acres there, I mean, you're basically talking 25 megawatts of power, uh, which I, I think probably is, is substantially greater than what they are going to be able to achieve on, on their half of the, of the side. Now, that's it. A lot less space required. Oh, a lot less space required, and, and you get the additional benefit of that thermal energy that you can now tie in and use in a variety of ways. The, the, the problem that I have with flat panel technology is it depreciates uh, each year by about a half a percent to a percent and a half. So you build your building in 30 years, when you knock your building down, you're going to throw away your flat panel. The advantage of this technology is those cells currently are 35% efficient. They're projected to be 55% efficient by the year 2015. <coughs> Ergo, what you have now is in 10 years when these cells are out 55% efficient, you upgrade just the head of the cell. So that in 30 years you actually have an asset that's appreciated as opposed to depreciating. You don't have to change the whole array. You don't have to, that's exactly it. You don't have to change the whole array. All you have to do is retrofit the head and in 30 years you're producing more energy. Actually have some initial investor interest from a hedge fund. Uh, very interested in funding a solar farm on a landfill. So if we can if we can lock in a landfill here on Long Island, Mount Trashmore would be perfect. Um, but just as an example, that's a 20 acre site. We could produce 10 megawatts off of that site. And and we can go one step further. Although it gets the DEC involved, we can literally take the heat, flow it below that membrane that they're currently capping the landfill with add heat back to the equation and get the decomposition Fish process really going again, yeah, push yeah. methane up, use that methane to power micro turbines and spend some micro turbines yeah. and, yeah. And, and produce even more electric. So uh, a world was the uh, submitted as a design for the Energy Globe Award uh, in Prague and it won for the United States and it was in the top three uh, for the world design for how to how to design, engineer, and install a net net zero building. So this it was this system in con combination with the storage and in combination with the solar air conditioning. Uh, so we were just in Prague. We we lost to a hospital project in Tanzania that had no electricity in the hospital, and to operate, they put solar panels on to give the doctors the ability to operate. When I heard that one, I said, "You guys win automatically." <laughs> that's a bigger priority.